donkeys. Donkeys by Edelheid Dahemini Heide Stollinger. Translated by Catherine Chigi. Jenny and Jack were planning their silver wedding anniversary. The two old donkeys had spent half their lives together, horsing around. When they first met, they brayed, Hee-haw! at exactly the same time. Snap! They got married on the spot. They played their favourite donkey trick every time they crossed a street. Halfway over, they'd dig in their hooves so hard that nothing in the world could budge them. To help forgetful Jack remember their wedding anniversary, Jenny folded down the corner of his ear the night before. But what happened? The ear was blocked, and because he was already deaf in the other one, the rooster didn't wake him next morning. Jack slept through the clock, striking twelve. He slept until nightfall. Jenny was furious. She gave a terrible snort. Jack had snored away. The whole special day. The donkeys yelled at each other. Hee-haw! Scree-haw! Until Jenny turned on her heels and said, I'm leaving! Now, the pair had lived together so long it showed on their bodies. Jenny had a hollow on her neck from the countless hugs, while Jack had a bump in the very same place. They were a perfect fit. Jack was deeply offended. Stubborn as a mule, he said, I can find another Jenny any time. Jenny bristled and hissed through her teeth. There are plenty of other fish in the sea. And off they trotted to find themselves a better match. Jenny headed south and Jack headed south. In a paddock, Jack came across a spotted cow. Perhaps they'd make a good pair. How do you moo? said the cow, staring at his bump. Jack started back. The cow's hollow was patched with brown. He shuddered. She awful! Jenny met a billy goat, but he only came up to her knees, which he tickled with his beard. Ridiculous, she said to herself. He was so scrawny and small, she'd never want to act the goat with him. Jenny left him and his bleating behind. The donkeys went on searching doggedly. They chewed on the odd thistle to keep them going. Ever hopeful, they fondled flamingos and huggled with hippos. Trying to match up with a zebra, they began to see how pig-headed they'd been. Would they ever find such a perfect match as that other old donkey? Now the desert stretched ahead. 
caravans of camels snaked through the dunes. Jack saw their lovely humps swinging against the sky. He gulped to meet them. When night fell, the camels lay down and tucked in together, two by two. They looked like giant crabs in the sand. But there was one camel left over. He gazed sadly at the dunes stretching their lovely humps into the night. Jack crept up. Jenny crept up too. The camel pouted. Mm, you make such a good pair. Don't you want to sleep now? Jack harumphed. Hey, you! Jenny dug in her heels and stuck out her tail. I've got nobody, said the camel. I'll have to lie down in the dunes. Jenny looked from the corner of her eye at the bump on Jack's neck. Through his thick lashes, Jack saw that no one had taken his favourite hollow. They tested to see if they still fitted together. You've lost weight, said Jenny. Nonsense, said Jack. Never mind, she said. I'll have more room to breathe. They sank down beside the sleeping camels. Between their donkey bodies, there was just a chink of sorrow from their time apart. The lone camel, however, came and lay upside down on the sand, his legs reaching into the desert sky as a signpost for donkeys who lose their way. <laughs>